Grace Community Church has not apologized to Eileen Gray, rescinded its discipline, or made a public statement on the case, nor did it offer a response for this article. Just days after Christmas last year, Cho sent what he called a final appeal to each of the GCC elders. Cho still held, uh, held out that faint hope. The Lord has so often done far, far more than I ever could have thought possible, even knowing that the board was unlikely to move and that his public stance would upset many he used to serve and worship alongside. At the end of the day, I need to do what's right as the spirit of my conscience and prayer and counsel and word all lead me and let God take care of the results. He told CT and the man who taught me that was John MacArthur. There it is. Now here's where we come and we, we have to say now what, what will happen? What will happen? I hope that you go to Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. I don't know. Go all over whatever platform you choose and you talk about this. You don't have to share my video. You could just share the article. Go and share the article. Go on to Facebook. Yeah, you'll probably get Aunt Joan who's just upset because John MacArthur is her guy. You'll get all, you know, a lot of feedback. Most likely if you go on Facebook, Twitter, you'll probably get a lot of people who will agree. Um, that's why I like, that's why I like it on Twitter. Uh, but go on to your social media and share that article and let people know that this is what's going on because it's not just Dean on YouTube and all those jerks who just want clicks and they just want to grow their platforms and, how dare Christianity Today write so many articles about the rise and fall of Mars Hill and after the rise and fall of Mars Hill, do you know how many more they... Enough of that. People need to talk about this stuff because it matters because it's still happening. It matters, yes, because those people that it happened to, of course. But it continues to happen. It's happening right now. Most likely, statistically speaking... A church of 3,500, which we all know, it's bigger than that. All right, the church, the people that it ministers to, there are thousands there. Statistically, most likely, there is something going on at that church right now of a case of a, of a husband and a wife and what they're going through. It matters for them. Share it. Maybe if enough people make a ruckus, if enough people talk about this, if enough people share about it, if enough people just don't ignore it, don't get wrapped up in, oh, it's, you know, the 24 hour news cycle. We'll just move on to the next thing. What happened to John Piper's church? You know, like, let's sit with this and just say this happened, share it on our social media and try to get someone to listen. Cho listened. Cho probably didn't know about it until Julie Roy's reported it, right? Cho wasn't Julie Roy's source. Julie Roy's started talking about it because Eileen Gray, she, she got into contact with her. She wrote about it. Cho listened, tried to do something. And now we know his story as well. And we know that there are more and more of these stories there at that church. And I guarantee you more and more of those kinds of stories within churches that are aligned with that counseling philosophy. Let's talk about it. And maybe someone at that church will listen. And maybe somehow there can be accountability for this bubble that refuses to answer anything. What was, what was that line that we, we saw right off the bat from John MacArthur? What did the lawyer uh, say? Not what did the fox say, but what did the lawyer say? He could forget it. Don't let, don't let John MacArthur, I know he's having health issues. Okay. And there are going to be people who are going to be like, well, John MacArthur is in the hospital 
or John MacArthur is resting from home. These people just want to have it out for him. No. Enough is enough. Like, let's talk about this and maybe get through to that bubble that refuses to answer any questions, that refuses any accountability from outside of themselves. Yes, I know about the autonomy of the local church, but how about those elders act like elders? Cho did. It's not that complicated. Say we're sorry. Say, let's look into our counseling philosophy. There's obviously some problem here if all these women have these stories. Maybe do something about it. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Uh, I think I'm all done. I hope that something happens and that someone at that church maybe stops making a podcast for five seconds and stop putting out their videos and promoting all their stuff and, you know, doing all the organization stuff for a second and maybe be like, oh, snap, did we do something wrong? Maybe we should actually own up to that. Just my thoughts. But what do I know? To quote Austin Duncan, I'm just a guy on YouTube. So I'll see you in the next one.